I am Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. While I'll probably mess up his name, Laurent Lortenor, I won't mess up the fact that he's an innovation specialist for surfaces for Continental. And these are some really cool surfaces. So first, what is your name? Hey, my name is Laurent Letourneux. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> All right, so Laurent, what do we have here? Because it looks like a regular door to me. So this is a very regular st standard door that you can see anywhere. We are. This is a Golf 7, just for the, the detail. The Volkswagen uh, Golf 7. Correct, yeah. And what we are manufacturing is, what is, is the surfaces that you can see here, the foils. Yes. Yeah. So it's synthetic leather, yes. soft leather. So it uh, feel exactly the same way as a real leather, but we didn't kill any cow for it. Okay. And uh, what no we have... were harmed in this one. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and what we've done is that when you don't, when you see it like this, it's just like any regular piece of, of leather. What we've managed to do is to make it translucent. I see different colors. And then you can correct, and, I, and you can even have like changing colors, you know, play a little bit around. Oh, very good. And um, yeah, th so the, that's the major innovation that is coming here is that even though when you see it in, in a standard state, it looks exactly like opaque black or any other color. Right. When you light it up, it, it, it's, it's really translucent. And that means you can functionalize all the surfaces that you have in the car based on, the, on this synthetic leather. You can have pretty any, it's cut. We call this mood lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, depending it's, it's on what mood you're in, you can correct. have red. So it can be a party car and uh, you decide right. what mood you're in, exactly. Well, you know, in a limousine they have that, right? The flashing colors and That's stuff. That's correct. Yeah. So now you have your now own No, it's there. Yeah. So, but it, it goes a little bit further because ambient lighting is one thing. So if you will fall asleep in your car, it can detect it with sensors in the seat and put some bright colors to wake you up a little bit. Oh, okay. Just stressed out, you can have blue lighting. So that's the ambient lighting functionality. Right. But then we can use it um, as a display for much more safety relevant uh, features, such as uh, you're driving, you want to change lane on the motorway. Yes. And there's a car coming in your back that you have not seen, for example. Then you could have the whole car just uh, becoming red, flashy red, to, to one you don't go in this direction, for example, right? right. So you cannot miss it. Right. Uh, we can imagine on the instrument panel a big warning sign in case there is an accident or something up front that you need to be aware of. Suddenly it's the whole instrument panel that right. gives you some kind of uh, visual information. Wonderful. That's uh, the other more safety relevant uh, application. Right, so you've got safety plus you've got uh, less yeah. animals and User stuff being friendliness. used. Yes, yes, more environmentally friendly, I suppose. Oh, look, all right. And Technology in the door. All right. right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Um, yeah, and the final thing that we are able to do, which is maybe not uh, visible here, uh, you can see the activation here with a with a sensitive surface. Yeah. Of course, in real life, it won't be on the armrest. That would not make so much sense. Uh, that every time you put your arm, you, you switch on something. Yes. Um, but we're able to use this to lighten up a certain area on your uh, synthetic leather. Uh -huh. That would become in turn a button. 